Welcome back. The pandemic makes standing in any kind of line a little challenging, and yet we are seeing lines all over America from those needing help getting a meal on the table. Let's talk about that with two people who have a daily view of our food insecurities. Kirk Mays with us from Forgotten Harvest and Jerry Brisson from Gleaners Food Bank. Jerry, l let me start with you. Kind of put into context for me uh, how this feels different. You, I mean, I know you both have seen ebbs and flows before in the demands that are put on, on, on what you guys do. How's the pandemic feel different to you right now? You know, there's three things and they're all pretty obvious. The first is the huge number of people that have needed help for the first time, trying to figure out how to get that help in a simple and convenient and safe way because, you know, you just can't be near each other. So, yeah. you know, changing our whole distribution model to meet the needs of the community is so different now than it was ever before. So that's the first one. But one of the important things is we've seen a, a, an outpouring of support in so many ways from food donors and from, from other donors. And, and really in truth, it's the first time and the first crisis that we've never had to turn anyone away. Wow. Everyone who has needed food has gotten food and uh, and certainly uh, Forgotten Harvest being so good at what they do helps us a ton. And together we manage to get all the need met when people can get to us. Now, we know there's people who are homebound who we might not be reaching, but fundamentally that's a new thing. And that's a really important thing as we get through this pandemic. And then the third really big difference is the food supply chain has been so spotty. You know, there's been like when you go into the grocery store, you'll see sometimes they're out of something. Yeah. Well, for us, we've got to manage 7 million pounds of food a month. So when someone's out of something, that's not a small thing. You're talking about truckloads of food that we got to replace. So those have been some pretty big challenges during the yeah. pandemic. Uh, Kirk, same thing. And getting uh, back uh, particularly to that point of people who have never had to ask for help before. You're seeing that as well? Yeah, uh, there are immense um, need out there. And a lot of people who are uh, just getting to the end of their savings um, yeah. as we go into the second phase and a uh, new shutdown. Uh, where some folks were just being able to piece things together with um, part-time work and that kind of stuff. There's a lot of folks that are still afraid, um, still don't know how to navigate the system, and still have to deal with trying to stay healthy through all of this. Uh, to Jerry's point about being able so far to keep up with that demand, have you, you seen the same thing, that so far you're not turning anyone away? Well, uh, you know, relatively, we still have uh, situations where uh, we run out of time or we run out of food yeah. at the sites. Um, where we have lines where we're giving food away to people. So, you know, here and there, we do have days when um, the line was just too much and we don't logistically have the ability to, to, to get more food out there in that day. What I can say, which is fortunate, we have not run short on food in our warehouse. We have not run short, food, short on the ability to get food out each morning as we deploy to each of our sites. So anytime we uh, may not be able to fill a need on one day, we make sure we can make adjustments uh, the next time around. Uh, Jerry, can I assume that not only you're seeing people who've never had to else ask for help before, but in areas and communities that typically you aren't being uh, asked to serve? Yeah, interestingly enough, the single biggest area where the need is grown is Macomb County and a lot of growth in North Macomb County. Yeah. So that, that, you know, people wouldn't necessarily expect that, but by the numbers that we run, and we do run numbers daily, weekly, monthly, I mean, we try to look at where the need is showing up. We saw a lot more need there than we expected. We also saw significant increases in people coming for help from Oakland County. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of people think about the, the problem as a Detroit problem or, or a problem of the inner ring suburbs, and, and there is a lot of poverty in those places but the truth is we saw need rising faster and more in the northern parts of our counties than than we ever imagined yeah really interesting right. kirk the uh, the challenges too of doing all this in the pandemic uh, most food banks rely on volunteer help a lot uh, through the year i imagine fewer people are wanting to show up to volunteer uh, and uh, your workers uh, have a real challenge ahead of them logistically trying to get food dispersed in a safe manner yeah, you know, it is hard to keep up the same flow of volunteers as we were before the pandemic. I do want to, though, recognize everybody who's come out to volunteer. Uh, there's been tireless uh, effort by people who typically don't come out and, and get a chance to volunteer. You know, it's largely um, 
due to the fact that a lot of corporations have had to, you know, suspend their activities um, internally as well as their outreach activities that has sustained much of uh, Gleaners and Forgotten Harvest volunteer operations. And, you know, we, we are looking at like 16,000 volunteers per year. So uh, to be able to do that um, through a retail kind of way um, is a different kind of approach to it. So um, to be able to yeah. actually even sustain the volunteerism we have thus far is actually a testament to the dedication of the people of Metro Detroit. On clickondetroit.com, we will put links uh, for both of your fine organizations for people that want to pitch in because the need is only going to grow as we make the turn toward Christmas. Gentlemen, thanks so much for the time. Happy holidays and stay safe. Right back at you. You bet. We'll wrap things up for Flashpoint right after this.